What's up all you cool kids? Hey, my name is Pastor Kushua. No, that's not it. Pastor Mushua? No, that's not it. Oh yeah, Pastor Joshua. What's going on everybody? Today's vlog is exciting. We're in a special place. A place that you've probably been before. Swan's Pumpkin Farm. Ooh, we're gonna have a super fun day at the Pumpkin Farm today. We're gonna do all of the fun stuff. And I have a very special guest with me to join me with today's vlog. Please welcome my good friend, Pastor Steve. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Pastor Steve works at the church with me. He is the youth pastor. He's, this guy is working with teenagers, helping lead teenagers to Jesus. We're gonna have a super fun day. You ready to go yeah, on let's go. Come you on. Ready to some yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Here it is, Swan's Pumpkin Farm. What should we do first? <laughs> we're gonna put some money in the coins because we're gonna feed some animals. There they are, back there. There's some goats. So Pastor Steve's gonna get us some food. Yummy food for the animals. Time to feed some animals. Here we go. Look at this good little girl. Look at her. Oh, come. <laughs> I dare you to eat it. I dare you to eat it. Should you eat it? Should you eat it? Should you eat it? Should you eat it? Ah! Give it a kiss. Give it a nice kiss. Oh, he kissed it. He kissed it. What's up, goat? Yo, this is the pumpkin farm. How about we try and find the biggest pumpkin we can find? There's a lot of them. Look at all these pumpkins. This is not a pumpkin. This is not a pumpkin. I think we found a big one. Check it out. This thing. Come on, come on try and lift it. Whoa, that's heavy. That's heavy. Whoa! Oh, check out this one. Okay, here we go. Oh! 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 Pastor Joshua, guess what? What? I found the biggest pumpkin. You gotta come check it okay, out. Okay, let's see. What are we here? That's, that's a baby pumpkin, man. No, but look, I can barely. Oh, oh, that's a baby pumpkin, man. Ah! Did I scare you? Did I scare you? I bet I scared you. I scared you. I scared you. I scared you. That's what we're gonna go on next. Look at the size of this slide. It's huge. There's a guy in there. Look, you see his body, his legs. There's a guy in there. We're gonna go down, down the giant slide now. You ready for this? Here we go, I gotta climb up huge stairs. All right, climbing up all these stairs, all these stairs. Whoa, there's that guy, he's got no head, he's got no head. All right, here we go. Giant tube slide. Ooh, we're super high, I mean, look at the giant corn maze. Look at the giant train over there. Whoa, look at this stuff. Okay, here we go. Down the giant slide. Three, two, one. Pastor Steve and I, we are at the Corn City Fire Department. We got a wonderful friend here that we wanted to tell a joke to you. All right, buddy, are you ready? Here's a great joke, guy. Right, here it is, ready? Why didn't the skeleton go to the ball? Why? Because they didn't have no body to go with. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, so hey. funny, right? Hey, little buddy. What did the ghost eat for dinner? Spooketti! <laughs> Spooketti! <laughs> Spooketti! He, he cracked a smile. What did the ghost use to wash his hair? Ready? Shampoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a fun day at the pumpkin farm. Yeah. Today at church, we're gonna be talking about this incredible, powerful thing that all of us have, including you, called fear. Mm. All of us feel afraid at some point, and especially during this time of the year with Halloween and all the scary decorations, man, fear is everywhere. I mean, this holiday is pretty much all about fear. So today, we're going to discover how we don't need to be afraid, whether it's in a scary situation, whether it's something that we're just like terrified of. We're going to discover what the Bible tells us about how to not be afraid, especially in those really, 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 really super duper scary situations. Pastor Steve, what's something that you're afraid of? Oh, spiders, big time. Ugh. Now that leads us to our big idea, which is the whole point of what we're talking about today here in large group in our vlog and small group later. Here it is, I actually found our big idea right here. Ready, here it is, I got it, ready? All right, everybody, here's our big idea for today. Are you ready? It says, we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Isn't that so cool? We don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Hey, can we say that all together now on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. We don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Hey, awesome job. Now I want you to find a partner and look them in the eyeballs. I'm going to give you three seconds to find a partner. Ready? Three, two, one. 
Now, in a scary voice, your best scary voice, monster voice, I want you to say the big idea looking at your friend. Are you ready? Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. We don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Nice job. We are inside the shop at Swan's and uh, check out this scary prop. Ooh, Ooh. that's just it. That looks like you. <laughs> check out this creepy thing. Ugh, skeleton rat. Ugh. All right, I got something good for you, Pastor. What's that? On a scale of one to ten, with ten being the most scariest thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Okay. How do you feel about this bowl of spiders? <laughs> Gross. Scary. Extra scary. Super duper pooper scary. The most scariest. Unicorns! All right, we're about to do something that I've never done before. Uh, never at Swan's Punk Farm. This is really scary. We're about to go into the spook house. Ooh, it's a haunted house. It's scary. It's like, it's huge. I'm nervous about it. No. I don't know if I want to do this, but you know what? We're going to learn how we don't need to be afraid. Face our you fears. Ready to do this? Let's okay. go. Let's yes. go to the spook house. Gotta do it. All right, man, here we go. Ready to go. First thing is, oh, oh. First thing we see is a super scary guy. Oh, oh. And also, don't smoke. Don't no, smoke. No, it's not good. I'm not going to smoke. Ugh. Fake either. All right, here we go. Into the unknown. Oh, scary. It's dark in here. You okay, were walking through the hall. I took my sunglasses off. Ah! 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 Oh, it's so scary over here. Ah, 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 oh, he scared me. Oh, look at this dude. There's a guy in here. Can you see that dude in there? What is this guy doing? Oh, it terrified me. It scared me. Oh, man. I'm about to go into a dark hall. I don't think I can do this, man. I don't think I can. Oh, there's some, some paint on here. That's not so scary. That's not so bad. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, Pastor man. Josh. We have to turn a corner oh, now. Pastor Josh, what's around the corner? I don't know if I want to do the corner. All right, ready? Uh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can do this, man. I think I have to stop. All right, we're gonna keep going. Yeah, we, we gotta got press this. through. We gotta press right, through. Let's go. We're almost done. We're almost there. Okay. All right. I see some. Uh, what do I see? Ah, 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 there is. Oh, this is scary scientist guy, and he's got some toxic waste in there. Is that scary? That was scary. Look at this dude's face. It's beautiful. Oh. Okay, that's not as scary. It's something a little scary. There's a guy. You see that? The skeleton? This is kind of scary. What was this noise? I hear noise over here. What is this? Ah! Oh, whoa! It's like a Frankenstein guy. Oh, this is so gross. This is gross. Gotta go. 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 Oh. There is a guy stuck in the chair. Oh, wait a minute. That's a fake guy. That's not even real. What That's not even real. Of? What am I even scared of, dude? This place. Oh, you see what? Look at this. There's a black light there. Did you even notice that black light, Pastor Steve? Nope. That's part of what makes this place so scary. Look at this. This is all fake. Dude, I thought some of this was real. You know what? Now that I know what's going on here, I'm not even that scared. Oh, oh see? I thought I was going to be able to scare me, but... A little scary. A little scary, but... All right. Oh, but they're just fake. They're just fake stuff. That's not scary. I don't need to be afraid of this. This is just fake stuff. Oh, this guy. Man, I'm not even afraid. I don't have to be afraid because, you know what? I got Jesus in my life. And because I love Jesus, man, he will give me peace. Now, you know what? I don't even have to go into these scary things. You know, I can try to be scared. You know, I can watch scary things or, or play scary video games. And, uh, you know, it might get my feelings up and my emotions and, like, my heart racing. But, dude, why would I want to do that? I mean, why do I want to add, add scary stuff to my life? I don't need to do that. Man, you know what? Jesus wants to give me peace. I don't gotta be scared of you, dude. I gotta be scared of you. Most things, most things in life, we don't even gotta be scared about because God is always with us. Hey, look, it's like Batman. Batman. Woo you see, Jesus wants to give us peace. There's things that uh, will happen in our lives that we can't control that are scary. And then there's other things that just kind of happen that make us feel afraid. But God will be with us. Oh, last one. Last scary spot. Here it is. Last one. Not even that scary. Some cards. Hey, Joker card. This is like a Batman themed place. All right. I ain't even that scared. Let's keep going. Hey, look at that. We're all done. We're all done. We did it. We did it. We got out of here. We survived. We made it. We survived. We did it. We finally escaped the spook house. 
Dude, Pastor Steve, we've had a super fun day it's at Fun Swinger This was a blast, super, yeah. man. We did some crazy fun thanks stuff. Thanks for inviting me. Dude, thanks for coming out yeah, with me, man. This was great. Today, our big idea has been that we don't need to be afraid because nope. God is with us. Always with us. There's a lot of scary stuff because this is the season of Halloween. There's a lot of people that are celebrating purpose, like scary stuff, some bad stuff too. Things that we shouldn't deal with and be worried about. Don't enter that in your life. You know what's cool though is that if you're a follower of Jesus, Jesus promises us that if we're ever feeling afraid or nervous, that all we have to do is talk to Jesus. And he will give us his heavenly peace. That means that when we're feeling nervous or feeling afraid, all we gotta do is say, Jesus, would you please fill me with your peace? Would you help me to feel good inside? And Jesus promises that he will make you feel good. You know, some of us get scared of things that are kind of like outside of our control or just like extra scary things. Like, like for you, you're scared of spiders, right? <laughs> I don't like them at all. Yeah, and some of us, we're scared of the dark. Like when it's dark out and we don't know what's going on around us, we get terrified. But the cool thing is that is if you are a follower of Jesus, all you have to do is ask Jesus for peace. And then the next time that you see a spider, all you have to do is just be like, dude, Jesus, please help me not be afraid. Take the wheel. I know that you're with me. And then Jesus promises that he'll calm you down. Then there's other times where scary things are happening to us. For example, maybe your parents are fighting a lot and you're just, you're super worried and afraid that your parents aren't gonna be able to figure it out and, and get back together and, and be peaceful and calm with each other. Or maybe there's somebody in your family that is super sick and you're just, you're afraid that something is gonna happen, that they're not gonna get better. In those moments where there's nothing that you can do to control the situation, that's when Jesus promises to be with you. Always with us. All you have to do is talk to him. Remember, our big idea says that we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. I mean, God wants to help us that we're not afraid. Right. There's some of you kids, some of us, who we like scary stuff. You like to watch scary movies or, or you like to play scary video games or, or you like to go into scary haunted houses. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Jesus isn't about that stuff. Nope. I mean, Jesus doesn't want you to be afraid. He created your fear emotion, but he didn't want you to invite or encourage scary things inside of you because, man, that's not what he's all about. I mean, Jesus is about peace and joy. So during the scary time, man, I wanna encourage you, don't do this scary stuff. Jesus is the light, Pastor Josh. Yeah, man. You see, we went into that haunted house today just to kind of show you guys that you don't have to be afraid. There's a bunch of scary stuff out this Halloween, but you don't gotta be afraid because God is with you. Well, Pastor Steve, this was a fun day. Thanks for bringing me, buddy. Man, yeah, man. So I'm glad that we got to talk to kids about how to not be afraid and to trust God because, man, God's with us. All right, we're gonna peace out now. We're gonna go eat some apple cider donuts. Apple cider donut? Yes. Let's go get Maybe some apple cider donuts. Hot dog too, brother. Ooh, hot dog, that sounds good. Ooh, All right, ooh. peace out, bye.